So, what should happen with Grand Theft Auto 6, as in... What should we expect from this game? W what can we expect from the setting? Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna take the franchise? Especially as of late with all the recent re leaks and rumors about... Like, the new technology they're using, as well as the small leaks about, um... It apparently having possibly a female protagonist alongside a male protagonist, which... All I have to say about that is, who cares? That's fine. It's not a big deal. You know, so long as the narrative is well written, and it's all in all a cohesive and memorable story with good characters to match, then, you know, that's that's enough. That's, that's really all I can ask for. W whatever they want to do with their characters for leads, who cares? As long as it's a well written story, that, that's what should matter most, considering I think that's why a, go a good portion of people play GTA single player for that solid, well-written narrative. So, as long as they can continue keeping that up, I'm good. I'm happy. And, um, I'm hopefully satisfied. And, with that being said, I guess I'll move on to what is more so what I personally want from the game and what I think should happen with GTA 6. Personally, I think the game should have a more serious narrative. I think it should be something more akin to GTA 4 than GTA 5. GTA 5, don't get me wrong, I think the single player is great. I replayed it a few years ago and I thought that it still held up very well, which granted, I only played it about four to five years after the fact when replaying it, since I initially played it for the first time on the 7th gen, specifically the 360, back in September of 2013 when the game originally launched since, a lot of people forget the game was already available to buy and play even before the Xbox One and PS4 came out. So I decided to um, rebuy it on Xbox One, play it that way, and you know, again, it holds up well, but I'm really hoping for something that's a bit more serious and in you know in general just takes itself more seriously and a bit more mature like don't get me wrong I, I have nothing against the tone of what they were going for with GTA 5 what they were going for I think they executed very well now maybe they overdid a little bit with some of the goofier moments in the game since in general GTA 5 story really wasn't all that serious but I think it needed more of those serious moments because when the game did have those moments, I think that's when the writing truly shined and was absolutely at its best. When we got to really see the more serious side of Michael DeSanta, for example, as opposed to the more alien and clown shit that they did, which th those parts of the campaign were fun. Th those were definitely enjoyable missions, I feel, but something that tapped, in that tapped into his psyche a bit more and really showed the darker side of this character in a much more serious manner. I really wanted to see more of that as opposed to getting high off of whatever fucking suspicious drug I'm taking in the Strangers missions and uh, eliminating um, killing clowns with a fucking uh, minigun, you know? And even though GTA 4, going back to that sense, I would say it's the most serious GTA game so far. Even though it's not my favorite Grand Theft Auto game, at the same time, Something I'll always love about it is how dark and mature the story was compared to something like San Andreas, for example. Because they really went for a very a very different type of take, which had less of the, um, I would say, pretty well-known rock star's humor by that point, and something that was just more depressing, really. Like, even the colors and the way the game was presented with its aesthetic, it just all came off as more dramatic and serious, and I can't lie, I really missed that from a Grand Theft Auto game. And it was nice to get something really mature with Red Dead Redemption 2, which, with it being a Western cowboy story, you know, that that's the type of story you would expect for it. But that's really all I have to say in terms of what I would want to happen for a story mode for this game. And something else I actually want to um, bring up is... The rumors from a few years ago at this point about how GTA 6 is supposedly going to take place um, in Vice City during the 80s as sort of like a modern day version of GTA Vice City akin to what uh, GTA 4 was to uh, GTA 3 
and then GTA 5 to San Andreas. So, you know, if they do that, I doubt the story would be as serious as I'd want it to be, but I do have faith that they would still tell a solid narrative nonetheless with that sort of thing. So, yeah, um, I can't really think of much else, just good driving mechanics, which, just going back to talk of technology and such, like, there, there's been some talk, some news recently about how they have a new system in place for improved um, AIs, AI in the game, which, that's cool. It's not the most exciting news in the world, but, you know, it's, it's cool to hear about, I guess. I think that's pretty much all I have left to say. I think that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this being uh, a point to end the video at because I can't think of anything else to add because when it comes to things like side missions, um, world exploration, customization, and just having the freedom to do whatever you want in the GTA sandbox, like everything else, I have faith that Rockstar will do well. I guess just focus more on the fun instead of the realism of, say, like Red Dead Redemption 2, which, yeah, the way they went about that game was impressive. Like, seeing how much detail was in that game was mind-blowing. But, at the same time, it's important to have a good balance of realism like they get, like they enjoy going for, as well as fun. So, you know, hopefully they have a good balance of that in GTA 6. And, yeah, okay, now that is all I had left to say. I, I thought of something else, but that is for sure the end. I assure you, that's it, it's over, it's done. It's done. Yeah, it's it, it's done. So there you go. That's that's what I think should happen with GTA 6. What about you guys? What do you want from this game? Leave your thoughts below and that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe for future content coming soon as well as turn on the notification bell and set it to all notifications so that you hopefully receive some videos in the future and I'll see you all next time. But until then, I'm out. Later.